Luke Dad here, and we are breaking down the entire Death of Slim Shady album that dropped uh, late last, or early this morning, I was going to say late last night, well, it was late last night, I think it actually came in at 11 in Tennessee, or at least in Memphis, I really wanted to do a breakdown and kind of initial reaction, we listened to the intro, I liked it, I'm not going to say that it was like, knock me down, I liked it, you know, I, I didn't dislike it, and I don't know if I love it but we're gonna move on to Eminem habits this is featuring white gold he downloaded all of or uploaded all of the tracks on YouTube so obviously he's not caring uh, where you listen to it at or anything like that most artists I guess they don't do that I don't really see it anymore but I guess you see it a lot more than you used to but anyway let's get into this habits featuring white gold <laughs> Been waiting a long time for this that shit. That eyeball freaks me out. Long time no see. Thought you got rid of my ass, huh? Alright, here's what we're gonna do. You take this, or I put a bullet between your fucking eyes. Here, <laughs> we'll split it. Half in that event. <laughs> so I'm, I'm guessing that's uh, Slim Shady talking to Marshall. A lot of people thought it was going to be Eminem versus Slim Shady, but I think it's Marshall versus Slim Shady. Let's go back. Just slide it back a little bit. Gonna do. You take this, or I put a bullet between your fucking eyes. Here, we'll split it. Half in that van. I'm driving straight out of van. Out of van is like a, it's like a Valium, like a weaker Valium. I never really took them when I used to do drugs, but I know what they are. Here. Fuck no. They weren't really sought after or anything. I'm not sure why he wants half an Ativan. We'll split it. No. Half an Ativan. I'm driving straight out of van in a black sedan. Fast as I can in Pakistan getting chased. I can tell you right now, I already like this a lot more than the intro. In a black sedan. Fast as I can in Pakistan getting Sorry. Sorry, sorry. Let's go back. Your fucking eyes. Here, Fuck no. we'll split it. No. Half an out of van. I'm driving straight out of van in a black sedan, fast as I can. In Pakistan, getting chased by Pakistan's. <laughs> in Pakistan, getting chased by Pakistan's. That's funny. I've never thought of that. You know how I roll, bitch. I'm an avalanche. It's my shit. I'm gonna spit it how I wanna spit it. Whoever gets offended, suffer dick and fuck a critic. I <laughs> get retarded on this motherfucking shit. It. Oh, dude, he just said the R word. Nobody says that anymore. We used to say it all the time, man, back in the 90s and 2000s, but not anymore. I said I'm gonna spit it how I wanna spit it. Whoever gets offended, suck a dick and fuck a critic. I to get retarded on this motherfucking shit. It. You can't say retarded. retarded. Shut up, midget. Shut up, midget. <laughs> <up. laughs> they said the M word. He really is trying to get himself canceled. Shit. That's hilarious. Whoever gets offended, suck a dick and fuck a critic. I need to get retarded on this motherfucking shit. It. You can't say retarded. retarded. Shut up, midget. Shut up. I've been trying to break the habit of saying any R words. But I'm still an addict, so it's getting harder. Been calling bitches hoes since a kindergartner. Since Jimmy Carter. Now I'm kitty cornered. Sitting in PC court with a shitty lawyer. Like, damn. You got an addiction, man. I know you can't get rid of me forever because you know that I'm prescription, man. That hook sounds like something off of uh, music to be murdered by. I'm not really up on this uh, white gold guy. Was he on music to be murdered by? Hang on. I got to know. Because that sounds like one of those. I don't remember which song, but it sounds like one of the hooks from music to be murdered by. Yeah, Zeus. Zeus, that was it, Zeus. So it kind of reminds me of Zeus. Doesn't really give me old Slim Shady vibes, though, other than, well, the things he's saying does, but the, the sound of the track sounds more music to be murdered by to me. Let's let's roll. Let's see what, what else happens here. You got an addiction, man. I don't dislike it. I know I'm just you not can't love get rid of me forever because you know that I'm prescription, man. God damn, I miss you, Slim. You got an addiction, man. I know you can't get rid of me forever because you know that I'm prescription, man. Next time I'll be in your yeah. van. It was just a kid from Detroit who knew how to destroy the booth and had a point to proof. Yeah. In a, miss then a point to proof and had a point to proof is what he said. 
I don't know if you guys caught that. Point to proof. I'm prescription, man. Next time I'll be in your yeah. van. It was just a kid from Detroit who knew how to destroy the booth and had a point to proof in the midst. Proof, if you don't know, was uh, Eminem's best friend. It's probably one of the reasons why he's kind of had a hard time. I don't know if any of y'all have ever, you know, lost somebody really, really close to y'all. I'm sure some of you have, but, you know, that shit can fuck with you hard. And it really seemed to fuck with Eminem, man. And and it took him a while to kind of work through that. I absolutely know that feeling. I just had somebody really close to me who died. Um, it's 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 tough, man. It's tough. So Proof was that guy for him. He was the one who really got him to keep pushing when he wanted to give up. Like, damn. You got an addiction, man. I know you can't get rid of me forever because you know that I'm prescription, man. God damn, I miss you, Slim. You got an addiction, man. I know you can't get rid of me forever because you know that I'm prescription, man. Next time I'll be in your yeah. van. Was just a kid from Detroit who knew how to destroy the booth and had a point to prove in a mist. Then the mist of poison you sentences. I'm pinning are just a toy with you, which is a joy to do. Slim is just a lyricist, hit a voice, it's true sentiments. Got the women pissed, and it seems like men are just off growing a huge clitoris. Pussies, yeah, probably annoyed a few feminists. I reminisce on them blowing. He probably annoyed a few feminists. So that's an understatement. M is, uh, he hasn't been as offensive as he used to be these last uh, maybe 10, 15 years, but he was super offensive in the 2000s. This is one of the reasons he got so popular. With you, which is a joy to do. Slim is just a lyricist, hit a voice, it's true sentiments. Got the women pissed, and it seems like men are just off growing a huge clitoris. Pussies, yeah, probably annoyed a few feminists. You say men are just unloading a, a, a huge clitoris? Pussies? I guess he's talking about haters. Reminisce on them blowing a fuse over my points of view. Still, I'm devoid of two shits to give. My thinking is primitive, but when it comes to giving it to anybody, boy is Bruce generous. And about as much of a boy is Bruce Jenner. <laughs> Bruce Jenner. If you guys don't know, Bruce Jenner is now Caitlyn Jenner. Uh, at a six change, came out a few years back as uh, wanting to be a woman and had a sex change. And he's been the target of a lot of praise and a lot of uh you know jokes and a lot of criticism so if you didn't know caitlin jenner and bruce jenner are the same person i reminisce on them blowing a fuse over my points of view still i'm devoid of two shits to give my thinking is primitive but when it comes to giving it to anybody boy is bruce generous and about as much of a boy is bruce generous because i'm not a boy i'm a man bitch man bitch my speech is free it's his choice to choose gender is this shit is like opioid abuse isn't it yep you got an addiction, man. I'm not, I know you. I'm not sure what he meant. The shit's like an opioid abuse. That's that's what I used to do when I was doing drugs. That was a big one for me. It was opioids. Generous, and about as much of a boy as Bruce Jenner is. Cause I'm not a boy, I'm a man, bitch. Man, bitch. My speech is free, it's his choice to choose gender is. This shit is like opioid abuse, isn't it? Yep. You got an addiction, man. Either that's missing me, or I don't. I don't get it. <laughs> I know you can't get rid of me forever you know it, Cause you know that comments. I'm prescription, man God damn, I miss you, son you Maybe it's a reference to the hook Where he says I'm, I'm prescription, man got an addiction, man I know you can't get rid of me forever Cause you know that I'm prescription, man Next time I'll be in your vents There's times when I lay down to sleep I argue with myself Am I the only one who thinks this way to I need help? I'm not always a huge fan of of Eminem singing. Like sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. I don't I don't mind this right here though. But you know, I'm not always a huge fan of him singing. It's he's not off key or anything or sings bad. It's just he's got a better voice for rapping, I think, than he does for singing. But I also don't particularly like it when he has people sing the hooks either. Uh, unless it's Nate Dog. Nate Dog would have been fire. I can't believe they don't have some Nate Dog verses somewhere or or hooks that they never used. I just can't believe that. Look at you. What's the matter with you people? You're sad that people are mean. 
Well, I'm sorry. The world is in one big liberal arts college campus. F*** you. You're all pricks. Mom shaming. Dad shaming. Yeah. Fat shaming. Mansplaining. Blah. Cry babies. Attack shady. Wah. Mad cause they can't tame me. They come to censors like the Avengers. And they assemble like Prince and in turn a word like... <laughs> I don't know if you caught that, but he said when they assemble, like when they get together, but also a symbol, like Prince turned himself into a symbol, which is something he said back in uh, Without Me, I think. But yeah, I almost didn't catch that. A symbol and a symbol, a space symbol. Pretty clever. Pretty clever. Liberal Arts College Campus. F*** you. You're all pricks. Is that Mom, Shame Southport? Do one of y'all know who that is? Let me know in the comments. Dad shaming, yeah, fat shaming, mansplaining, blah, cry babies, attack shady, wah, mad cause they can't tame me, they come to censors, like the Avengers, and they assemble like Prince and in turn, a word like ginger, into the N word, all these pronouns, I can't remember, they are them theirs, his or him hers, into them, what is he saying about the N word? Man, it's just late, man. I'm, I'm missing some of this stuff. A word like ginger into the N word. All these pronouns, I can't remember. Damn. They are them theirs, his or him hers. Ah. Into them girls who bought tits to get attention. Then get hit on by ugly men who are creep. Not in your league, so you pretend you're a big dump and meet uh, Tom. Man, he hit the nail on the head of that. Like, these, he's talking about women who, you know, alter their bodies and walk around, you know, like, <laughs> like, you know, looking like porn stars and shit. And then if, as long as you're cute, you know, they're good with you paying attention to them. But if you're not uh, exactly what they're looking for, they try to act like they've been, uh, you know, harassed or something. And de there's definitely a fine line there, but I know exactly what he means, man. I mean, yeah, I know exactly what he means, you know. Everybody should be allowed to walk around looking however they want to look. But, you know, at the same time, if you go out making a spectacle of yourself, you can't get mad when people look, man, you know? They of them theirs, his or him hers Into them girls who bought tits to get attention Then get hit on by ugly men who are creep. Not in your league, so you pretend you're a big dump And meet to them How rage, how fake Nowadays some gals, they just cloud chase Look at me with sour grapes and your brow raised Bitch, you ain't about head, about face Little <laughs> You mean about head, about face That's funny Look at me with sour grapes and your brow raised Bitch, you ain't about head, about face Little white, middle age, upper middle class With a glass of wine and your cigarette Bitch, get off the internet You ain't even fed your kids dinner yet <laughs> hey, dude, That is true as well, you know People on the internet talking shit about other people Not even taking care of their own business But I mean, that's nothing new Even before the internet, you know People always worry about other people and never worry about themselves, you know, on the internet, throwing shade at people and stuff. But you haven't even fed your kids yet. My daughter's been fed. I fed her. She had uh, spaghetti O's tonight. So, not me, Slim. Rental discretion, mental aggression. My head's a Smith and Wesson. You're messing with a lethal weapon like an evil stepdad. I got it. My head's a Smith. The beach. Fed your kids dinner, yes. Parental discretion, mental aggression. My head's a Smith and Wesson. You're messing with a lethal weapon like an evil stepdad. I got it infrared like a ginger step kid who pissed the bed. I do this shit in jest and it's just a mess. <laughs> what is I got a discretion, mental aggression. My head's a Smith and Wesson. You're messing with a lethal weapon like an evil stepdad. I got it infrared like a ginger step kid who pissed the bed. I do this. I got an infrared, which is a pistol. You know, a gun reference, but I've got it in for red, like a red-headed stepchild who pissed the bed, if I'm the stepdad. Shit and chest and it's just a mess and that put your head and if men want to wear lipstick and women's underwear who cares this shit is their business not bear witness beware bitches to blare which on you scared bitches some surreptitious and square business just attack my So he said, let's see. Parental discretion, mental aggression. My head's a Smith and Wesson. You're messing with a lethal weapon like an evil stepdad. I got it infrared like a ginger step kid who pissed the bed. I do this shit in chess and it's just a mess. And that put your head. And if men want to wear lipstick and women's underwear, who cares? This shit is there. If men want to wear lipstick and women's underwear, who cares? I agree. I don't care either. I'm not sure why everybody's making such a big deal of it. Who gives a crap? As long as I don't have to do it. Business not bear, witness beware, bitches the blare, which on you scared, bitches some serve, tissues and square, business just attack my therapist with a pair of scissors like Merry Christmas dresses a hairy Christmas. I just
just attack my therapist with a pair of scissors, screaming Merry Christmas. A Harry Krishner. His therapist does not bear with this beware, bitches to blare with your new scared bitches. I'm surreptitious and square business. Just attack my therapist with a pair of scissors like Merry Christmas dresses. A Harry Krishna terrorist with the hair trigger. But with these buttons, I'm always pushing. Pain, I'm always inflicting. Protesters outside the shady office is livid. It'll make you think that you had the game unlocked till they pick it. Only wait for me to explain it. Yes, I'm conflicted. Walking on eggshells like if I take it too far, is this it? Part of me gets it and wants to say I'm sorry and fix it. I'm so all my statements are basically contradictive. Like using the F word for gay is wrong and offensive. And it's insensitive as if me saying the R word isn't Wait, wait a minute, which R word? Yeah, he's not lying. I mean, you can't say anything anymore. And, and so, I mean, I don't want to say anything that offends anybody, man. But, you know, everything offends everybody anymore. So, there's that. Game unlocked till they pick it. Only wait for me to explain it. Yes, I'm conflicted. Walking on eggshells like if I take it too far, is this it? Part of me gets it and wants to say I'm sorry and fix it. I'm so. So all my statements are basically contradictive. Like using the F word for gay is wrong and offensive. And it's insensitive as if me saying the R word isn't. Wait a minute, which R word? Rape or retarded midget? Not cool. Would this rhyme be okay if I park it? He said, which is our word? And then he listed three. I'm not going to say them because I don't, I don't know what YouTube will do, but yeah. <laughs> Funny though. They visit me saying the R word isn't wait, wait a minute, which R word? Rape or retarded digit? Not cool. Would this rhyme be okay if South Parker did it? Okay, screw you guys. Would it make you less angry if Carbon spit it? God damn it. And as far as what I just So he's saying would it make you less angry if it was um, you know, clearly like a cartoon character or like satire. Like if you knew for sure that it was a joke or coming from somebody else, but because it comes from him, you get offended. Stated regarding midgets, you'll probably think I'll just say that I'm playing, I'm not, I meant it, yeah. Swear to God, I see one of them little fuckers come at me, I'll pick it up by his legs and drop it and kick it. <laughs> Marshall, your wicked face. Dude, dude. I gotta hear that part again. So all my statements are basically contradictive. Like using the F word for gay is wrong and offensive. And it's insensitive as if me saying the R word isn't. Wait a minute, which R word? Rape or retarded digit? Not cool. Guys. Would this rhyme be okay if South Parker did it? Okay, screw you guys. Would it make you less angry if Carbon spit it? God damn it. And as far as what I just stated regarding midgets, you'll probably think I'll just say that I'm playing. I'm not, I meant it. Yeah. Swear to God, I see one of them little fuckers come at me. I'll pick it up by his legs and drop it and kick it. <laughs> Marshall, your wicked face that you are addicted. But he ain't shit for that. That's funny, but so wrong, man. So wrong. <laughs> and I'm playing. I'm not a minty guy. Yeah. Swear to God, I see one of them little fuckers come at me. I'll pick it up by his legs and drop it and kick it. <laughs> Marshall, your wicked face that you are addicted, but they gon' do me the same as the baby with all of this shit. Watch. Chappelle and Colin. The they it's talking about the baby. The baby got canceled after talking uh, down on the LB. Um, T Q L B G T Q. I can't remember all the letters, but the baby went on a rant or something about that crap, and you know, kind of got. I mean, I guess he got what, canceled. I'm not really sure. Like, I'm not really into all that stuff. Man. I don't know what that means, man. I just do me. But I guess people aren't buying his album anymore or his stuff anymore because he said what he felt, which is crazy to me. Like, I don't support, like, I'm not saying I support him. I don't even know what he said. I just know what people are saying, but I do support his right to say whatever the fuck he wants. We all should have that right to say whatever we want, but we also have the right, you know, we also get, have the right to the consequences too. But, um, you know, I guess I, I'd have to hear what he said to, to really break that down. I don't know if that's a, a mess I want to get involved in. If carbon spit it. it, and as far as what I just stated regarding midgets, you'll probably think I'll just say that I'm playing. I'm not a minty guy. Yeah. Swear to God, I see one of them little fuckers come at me. I'll pick it up by his legs and drop it and kick it. <laughs> Marshall, your wicked face that you are addicted, but they gon' do me the same as the baby with all of this shit. Watch. Chappelle and Colin, they're calling shady misogynistic while raising three. Did he say Chappelle? Marshall, your wicked face that you are addicted, but they gon' do me the same as the baby with all of this shit. Watch. Chappelle and Colin, they're calling shady misogynistic. Chappelle and Colin, they're calling shady misogynistic. While raising three daughters, two graduated from college with honor, summa cum laude, my sense of humor is probably... Yet he raised two daughters that both graduated from college and are upstanding citizens. I, I will agree with that. And what he's trying to say is that he, this Shilam Shady is a character. Like, for rap music, that's something that's, that's always confused me. Like, people 
seem to think that everything that gets said in a song is real, even though if it was a movie, it wouldn't be real, which is crazy to me. Like it's, it's, it's just fake, you know, it's, it's not, I know there's some people that rap that maybe they're rapping about real shit, but then people end up going to jail or other stuff like that. Most of the crap you hear in hip hop is not real. All right. And it just kills me that so many people take it so seriously. Like this stuff, I don't think he's going to grab a little person and, and throw them or anything like that. I don't think, I don't even believe that he believes that, you know, it's just crap he's saying to uh, get a rise out of people. Shady, misogynistic, while raising three daughters Two graduated from college with honor Summa cum laude, my sense of humor is probably twisted It's painfully obvious You got an addiction, man I know you can't get rid of me forever Cause you know that I'm prescription, man God damn, I miss you, Slim Hey, you got an addiction, man I know you can't get rid of me forever Cause you know that I'm prescription, man Next time I'll be in your vans <laughs> I'm just playing, little people You know I love you <laughs> So, if you don't know, he said that on, on several things. One notable time he said it was on Killshot when he was dissing MGK. He said it uh, towards uh, Puffy P. Diddy. Uh, he had said something about him being involved in the Tupac shooting. I think he said uh, something about Diddy put out the hit that got Pac killed. And then at the end, he says, you know I'm just playing Diddy. I love you. So, and he said it a couple of other times. I, I can't remember every time he's ever said it, but um, usually it means he doesn't love you and he doesn't care. So that was Habits featuring White Gold, which I liked probably about 50% better than I liked the intro. And I, I didn't dislike the intro. It just it wasn't my favorite shady verse or song. And it may grow on me. But I definitely like this one a lot better. Except for one thing. And I don't dislike White Gold. I don't know who he is or anything like that. Um, the only time I've ever heard him is on the the uh, Music to be Murdered by CD. And I wasn't horribly fond of that hook. And this one reminds me of that one. And that would probably be my biggest gripe about this song. But I don't dislike it. At first, it sounds more new, the way he's rapping. But at the end, it's definitely uh, more Slim shady Yes, It's more like, I guess what some people call Slim and M. Slim and M. Part Shady, part M and M. So we're going to move on to the next one, which is going to be Trouble and... Well, no, that's a skit. So we'll do Trouble and uh, Brand New Dance together. Uh, in the next video so trouble and brand new dance guys these videos are not going to be monetized so i don't get anything off of them do me a favor at least give me a like or hit the subscribe button i would love to have you as a subscriber if you like this kind of stuff i also do car audio breakdowns i try to cover music in every which way i, I like the the artistry of it and i like the technical part of the gear so i try to cover car audio audio in general as well as music and sometimes photography not very often do i do photography i don't get a lot of hits on it on the on the stuff you know if I did, I probably would. But um, if you like this kind of stuff or you like me or if you just want to get on here so you can tell me how much I suck, whatever, just hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I drop new content. You can watch more of my videos right now. And the next one, like I said, will be Trouble and Brand New Dance. See you there.